students in this video we are going to discuss about the environmental control in aseptic and sterile area in previous videos we have discussed about the sources of contamination as well as the layout in order to control the contamination now to maintain the environmental conditions along with the layout some other aspects like air supply and water supply are equally important so here we are going to discuss about the air supply because air supply is the potential source for contamination because the air may be containing various microorganisms as well as the particulate matter which are going to contaminate the product so in order to reduce or to remove or to prevent this contamination we should focus on the air supply in the sterile as well as in the aseptic area now this particular table explains the standards of maximum number of particles permitted in different grades or different areas as we have discussed earlier that depending upon the operations to be performed in a particular area the areas are defined as grade a grade b grade c and grade d now here we are going to see that how many particles are permitted of what size in a particular area now here we can see that if we consider the grade a which is considered for manufacturing of sterile products it will be permitted of the particles ranging between 0.5 to 5 micrometer the particle number is 3500 while in operation also the similar number is to be maintained and more than 5 micrometer particles are not permitted at all and it is considered from the standards that if the number of particles obtained in in a particular area are less then the maximum number of permitted viable microorganisms are also considered less now if we consider grade b as this is a background for grade a it is also having address the similar conditions but in operation we can have the maximum number of particles permitted of different size for of 0.5 micrometer 3 lakh 50000 particles are permitted and more than 5 micrometer particles are permitted up to number 2000 and number of viable microorganisms permitted are 5 similarly here in grade c and in grade d the number of particles allowed at rest and at operations are increasing while that of for grade d in the operation the particles are not permitted and the maximum number of permitted viable microorganisms for grade c are 100 and for grade d these are 500 so here we can see that different grades are having different number of particles permitted at rest and in operation as well as and these standards are maintained in case of manufacturing of sterile products to consider the environmental control or to maintain the environmental control in the sterile area we are supposed to have the have ac system that is high ventilation air conditioning system while managing or having this have ac system we have to consider the different factors from that temperature is the first factor the temperature is considered as per the product specificity or it is product dependent normally for grade a b and c the temperature is kept around 23 degree celsius plus minus 2 degree celsius however depending upon the specific requirements it can be less that is it can be less than 23 degree celsius the next comes is the relative humidity actually
actually uh, this is also uh, product dependent like temperature depending upon the product specificity the relative humidity can be adjusted normally the relative humidity 45 percent plus minus 5 percent is kept if we are having dry powder feeling then it can be reduced up to 30 percent plus minus 5 degree and if we are having any moisture sensitive products then also we can also reduce it up to 20 percent so depending upon the products requirement that humidity can be adjusted next comes is the air velocity in case of hepa filters the air velocity normally required in between 80 to 120 feet per minute that much air velocity will be maintained next comes point is the differential pressure and room to room air balance to maintain the differential pressure that is different pressures in the different areas we are supposed to keep the difference of 15 pascals and this can be different if there is a door opening and closing so we have to maintain this pressure difference so accordingly the pressure will be adjusted then comes is the HEPA filtration and their uh, integrity integrity of the HEPA filters is tested by doing the DOP test or DOS test this DOP test is the dispersed oil particulate test and the DOS is dioctyl sebacetate particulate testing by having these two tests the HEPA filters integrity is checked and if the filters are not integrated one then they will be discarded or they will be repaired as per the need next comes is the laminar airflow unit this laminar airflow unit it will be installed in class A specific, uh, specifically and this laminar airflow will be having a good working that is they will be having either vertical or horizontal type of airflow unidirectional flow in, in case of class A then next comes is the viable and non viable particular counters to define the class of the air it is always uh, necessary to check the rooms with the particular count so this counting of viable and non viable partic particles then this will be done with the counters then comes is the air system failure alarm all aseptic areas a and b must be fitted with such type of alarms so that if there is any type of difficulty or the area is not crossing the standards then the alarm means to be having uh, audio which will be played so that it will be easily detected that our area is not safe and we should stop working at that point so by these uh, eight factors taking into consideration the havac system will be having the proper working now we will have the focus on actual for the environmental control in the class a or different grades laminar airflow units are used these laminar airflow units are having different types of air supplies that is the airflow will be either vertical horizontal and mixture of horizontal and vertical now this vertical is the most preferred uh, type of air supply where in that closed cabinet of laminar airflow the air is coming from the top and it is going downward and it will be passing through the working area and it will be taking out all the particular matters and it will be flushed away in this case of horizontal the air filters are kept horizontally so that it is passing towards the working area horizontally and it will be flushed out now third type is the mixture of vertical and horizontal where the air will be supplied from top as well as from the side this will be preferred where the actually sterile uh, area is used for the manufacturing of the product now this laminar airflow unit for this air supply it will be having blowers to blow the airs then pre filters to have the pre filtration of the air prior that it is going to the HEPA filter 
to maintain the integrity of the hepa filters here we are supposed to pass the air through the uh, pre filter then it will be passing through the hepa filters and then after passing through the hepa filters the air is coming actually into the laminar air flow units and these are the different systems of air flow which will be useful for different type of operations and depending upon the requirement of the operations one of the laminar air flow unit will be selected and it will be followed so by having the laminar air flow unit the environmental control can be maintained whatever the testing is there i'll depend for to control the environment that testing part we are going to discuss in the next video thank you